Hello everyone, welcome back to another Robo Review. This time I am bringing you a review on a Galaxy S7 Edge screen protector. Now I've done a couple of these in the past. This is actually the first one I'm reviewing that is on the actual film type screen protector. So this one is by Plesson. This is your 3D curved type protector that is going to cover the entire front of the phone. Now, let me just start off by saying I've read a lot of the reviews that the screen protector has currently, and I think it's getting a bad rap for what it is. So I'm going to show you, because it came with two of them, this is the other one that was provided to me. It's my second one, which I did not apply. It simply has the, you know, two tabs. There's a film on each side of the screen. You pull off the back tab and you line it up with your phone to install it. These, I, I think they're even easier when you're curved, but you want to just make sure all the holes line completely up and they're dead center, and then you just kind of drop it right in the middle and then just kind of flatten it out. So I'm going to show you on my phone right now, I have one installed, and you can't even really tell it's there. There's no bubbling that some people are claiming they have. I mean, it, it, bubbling is typically just a, a you know a sign of a bad install. If you do it incorrectly, or you don't push the bubbles out, or you get a bunch of lint underneath it. But as you can see, this goes all the way to the edge. And I'm not having any problems with it like, coming up. This one I got a, a slight bubble over here, but I can probably just push this guy out. Yep. I just installed it. Yeah, the, the bubble slide right out. But there is no... I'm not having any issues with it not coming up on the sides or the top. I mean, this is all flush. I mean, like I said, you guys are going to hardly be able to tell it's there. So I, I don't know why this is getting such a bad rap. I'm pretty impressed with this screen protector. And I, I can't really, there, there's not much bad I can say about it. So anyhow, that is it. This is going to be a quick one. Like I said, just install. If you buy it and try it, you're going to be getting about the same type of screen protectors as you will with any of these and if you don't install them correctly these curved screens are definitely a little bit more difficult to install on and the screen pro I mean they just they don't want to stick as well but if you do it correctly it'll work correctly for you that's that's the best I can say for it so you know I, I so far at least reviewing this screen protector itself you know I really like it like I said, it went on okay, and this is the, the first one that I can say that about because I've tried some of the glass ones, the quote-unquote glass screen protectors, and they were just garbage compared to this. They, they did not work. They did not stick to the screens. This one sticks. I lose no functionality. It's It actually does a decent job of warding off fingerprints. Not as good as the, the normal screen, but it's... Yeah, I mean, it, it works. It's a screen protector. It's not that expensive. It's your film type, so it's going to protect against scratches, not against, you know, heavy drops or anything like that. But I, you know, I'm going to give it five stars here. It, I, I, I can't see any reason not to. So anyhow, hopefully you guys find this informative. If you, if you do, you know what, give me a thumbs up or, you know, find it rated as helpful on, on Amazon. But again, it's, I wanted to not like this thing, but you know it works just as good as any screen protector I've used in the past on anything that you know didn't have the curved screen. So, anyhow, that's it. Hopefully, uh, I'll see you guys in the future, and take care, everyone.